If you want to make detailing in the winter easier, then this video is for you. Hello, hello everyone. My name's Dylan and today we're going to be covering a few tips that will help you continue to grow your business during the colder months of the year. When the weather gets too cold, our lives as detailers typically get more difficult. Customers may begin to slow down, the weather can get too harsh, and you may just want to avoid getting in the snow altogether because it can be a hassle. In this video, we're going to talk about a few basic tips that will keep you safe and moving even if the weather is trying to stop you. The first tip is to figure out how to make your jobs faster, but you don't want to lose like the typical quality that you provide. The best way to do this would be to say swap your normal hose water or pressure washer out with an alternative like a rinseless or waterless wash. When it's cold outside, getting yourself wet obviously will not be fun. And on that same note, if you get the vehicle wet when it's too cold, you could easily risk it freezing over and no one wants that. So do yourself a favor and Wow, those are loud. So do yourself a favor and try using less water where you can. The second tip is if you have to use water, try to keep it as warm as possible. If you're constantly dipping your hands into an icy bucket of water, you're either not going to finish the job, or you will but you'll lose your hands shortly after. Thankfully, there's a few solutions here that we will cover more in next week's video. But to put it simply, the probably the easiest one is to just fill your bucket up with hot water before you begin. Other options are to wear gloves or get a water heater. No matter which one you choose, it can even be all of them, no matter what, you've got to take care of your hands. Otherwise, you quite literally just cannot do your job. The third tip is to always overdress rather than under. Lots of times we think about how much we sweat on the job and choose to keep it light. However, in this case, it's best to just take layers off if it does come down to it. That's much better than freezing yourself and regretting not wearing more. It's also easy to be working hard and think you're not cold because your blood's flowing and then come to find out you've got frostbite. So don't do that. Definitely overdress. To sum it all up, the three basic tips that you need to know is one, make your jobs faster to stay out of the cold and use less water to avoid any problems. The water you do end up using needs to be warm to keep you warm. And then finally, you need to keep yourself warm by adding layers onto your body and take them off throughout the job if needed. And that really is all there is to it for these basic tips. With all of that said, let me know if any of them helped you out and comment below some of your own because I'd love to hear it. And that's that. See ya.